Hello, welcome to Richmond's Place Homestead. Matt here. Uh, today is what we're going to call Product Review Sunday. Every Sunday going forward, we're going to try to review a product that we've purchased and used here on the homestead. Um, we're going to tell you about our experience with it, uh, um, what we thought about the product, you know, whether it worked for us or not. Um, met expectations, exceeded expectations, or failed us. We're going to be as honest with our experience as we can. Um, the, the product we're reviewing today, we have uh, no affiliation with the company whatsoever. Um, we have not received payment from them. We have not received any free product from them. We purchased the product. Uh, on Amazon, it shipped to us within. A, it shipped to us fairly quick. I think we got it um, the next day. Um, the day after we, I mean, it was, you know, fast shipping. Um, we bought two bags. I think I'm going to show you the invoice uh, or the shipper, the packing slip, uh, and. Uh, and you'll be able to see what we paid for it. The product that we're reviewing today is called Smellies. All right. Um, and this review isn't an endorsement of the company or its product. This is um, based on our experience with it. Somebody else's experience with this product may be different. Um, yours may be different. Uh, your assessment of it may be different. But this was our experience and we're going to share that with you. Um, we had a problem in our shed. Uh, we had a dead rodent smell. Uh, rat, uh, a mouse, mice, I'm not sure, but they died in there. And when we opened the shed up, all we could sell, smell was this awful smell of a uh, dead animal. Looked for it, we couldn't find anything in there. Uh, I don't even know where, I think I've looked in every um, crevice in there, I couldn't find nothing. So, um, I went online to see if there was something I could buy that would help us out. And I came across this on Amazon. It's called Smellies. Let's show the product here. Alright. Um, and it, it says one pouch for every 150 to 200 square feet. Our shed is 160 square feet. No. Yes. It's 10 by 16, so it's 160 square feet. We bought two pouches. We hung one right in the middle, and we put one in the loft near where we thought the smell was coming from. Uh, and we laid it on the, so that was up in the loft, and we laid it on the floor. Uh, so with two pouches in there, you'd have thought, eh, it would have gotten it fairly quickly. After 11 days, the smell was worse. Worse than it was when we put, before we put the pouches in. We took the pouches out, per the directions. We dried them up. We put them in the sunlight for a day. The next day, we flipped them in the sunlight. So it spent two days in the sunlight. We rehung them. Three days later, the smell was just as bad. Uh, so we took them out again. This time, um, as um, they put in the directions here, we, against my better judgment, I nuked them in the microwave for uh, about two and a half minutes. Uh, flipped them over and did them for another. Uh, um, another uh, uh, um, 30 seconds. And uh, then I hung them back up and no change. Same situation, same smell, didn't go away. 
These didn't help. They did not work for us here at Richmond's Place Homestead. Um, I was really have, looking forward to having some positive results with it because there was some really good reviews uh, on Amazon on this product and um, there were some, you know, uh, reviews that it didn't work for other people so it was kind of a mixed bag. It might work for you, did not work for us. Um, so, again, this is Smelly's. Large bags, eco, uh, eco smart, natural, safe, non toxic, cordless. Um, it just didn't work for us. So, with that said, I hope you have a great afternoon. Thank you for visiting our channel. Um, again, hey, this might work for you. Uh, it just didn't work for us, you know, and, and that was our experience with it. We followed the directions. Um, um, and that was the other thing. I liked it, the directions and stuff were on the bag. It was large enough to see the directions. Didn't have to strain to read because I hate products that um, I gotta go get a magnifying glass to read the, the directions. I'm getting too old, my eyes aren't that good. And uh, yeah, these were easy to follow directions. Uh, unfortunately, the product did not work for us. Uh, I hope people have better uh, uh, experience with it than I do. With that said, I wanna thank you for visiting our channel today. Uh, please like, subscribe, um, share these videos. You have a blessed day. Thank you.